Let's do a walkthrough of my hydroponic tomato greenhouse. So this year I'm doing double rows. Each row has two rows of tomato plants on it. And they, ho they have 150 total for each double row. And I'm gonna get to this hydroponic system in just a minute, but I kinda wanna just do a brief overview. So these guys have only been in here for about eight weeks. And as you can see, there's tons of tomatoes just loaded down. The quality is superb. I don't really have to deal with any blossom end rot or any yellow shoulder like I used to when I grew them out in the field because I can control the pH. We've harvested a ton of tomatoes off this already. Lots of cherry tomatoes. Absolutely love growing this with this system. It's very inexpensive. It's called the slab system. It's super easy to set up too. I can't wait to harvest all of these. Let me show you what else I got going on in here. So I'm also growing cucumbers. These are slicers. My peppers are starting to come in. Got a giant bell pepper right there. Got these eggplants. Check it out, I got one right there. Oh shoot, I didn't see this yet. Nice. I've also got the black ones too. Check out this huge cluster of tomatoes. That's all one cluster. Here's my cherry tomatoes. They're just prolific. I'm growing Sakura this year. So excited about them. Okay, what else I wanted to share with you is along the side of the greenhouse, I'm growing all of these squashes and different things in this, just these three gallon pots. That's all this is sitting in is a three gallon pot. And these are just huge plants. Look, I got zucchini down there. Patty pan squash, and these things are doing incredible. And I've got some, um, some vining squash, some winter squash. I've got broccoli. Now keep in mind, these are large plants. These are supposed to be in, you know, heavy feeders, but I just have them in these three gallon pots. And they're not even filled up all the way. Look, it's a, it's a few inches from the top. I'm also growing beets. These are golden beets. That sucker's ready to harvest. That's like two or three inches. I've got leeks. I could probably plant these a little bit denser, but it's my first time. That sucker's like an inch right there. I've got fennel. I've got butterflies. That's pretty. Okay, so let's get to this hydroponic system. This is basically just a raised bed in a bag. This is a plastic bag filled with coconut core. That's all that is in there. I start the seedlings, the tomato seedlings and whatever else I wanna grow inside of these four by four by two inch rock wool blocks. I have this half inch poly pipe that feeds these drip spikes. You can get a punch, you just punch that line and you put in this barbed fitting it's a quarter inch to eighth inch barbed fitting the eighth inch line and the fertilizer runs through that it's pretty much all automated i've got this two-part fertilizer injector system two injectors the concentrate is in there and then it gets fed to this bin and the pump sits in there and then uh, that pump pumps it out to a filter to a trunk line and then back to this line right here. Super simple, very easy to set up, very productive. I don't have like the blossom end rot and uh, yellow shoulder that I used to have. Just perfect uh, tomatoes pretty much every time. As you can see there's just thousands, thousands of tomatoes already. We've already harvested quite a bit. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If I get a lot of interest in likes and subscribes on this video, I may go into more detail on how to actually operate the system, how to start the plants and everything like that. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for watching.